What's up internet? Reviewing today a new entry into the premium case market, the APNX C1. And as you know, usong usong ngayon yung airflow in the case. Yan yung current meta of case design. So everybody has the standard mesh type front panel to allow air into the case. Everybody has the standard mesh type top panel to allow air out of the case. And of course, the usual TG side panel. But the C1 goes one step further and has a wrap around mesh design. So this is the traditional non-TG side of the case where normally this would just be one sheet of metal covering up all of the wiring, all of the things you don't want the user to see. The C1 has mesh here and also mesh here. So it's essentially like a wrap around mesh design, only stopping for the TG side panel here at the side. We'll take a look if that really does increase performance and airflow, but for now, the basic specs of the case are that it can fit a CPU cooler up to 166 millimeters in height that will fit most CPU coolers on the market. APNX is going all in on cooling and it comes with four fans. Yung usual nito, usually those would all be 120 mm fans, but the C1 comes with only the one 120mm fan and the other three fans are 140mm fans. Again, clearly the mindset is more airflow better. All of those fans are already ARGB. And the case already comes with a fan hub neatly wired already to plug all of those fans in. With all of that space, it's natural that the case can also take in a 360mm RAD AIO and it has a maximum GPU length of 395mm. There is an adjustable GPU support bracket if you are getting a larger card and you worry about sag. Pretty standard these days in cases, but always nice to see it. The front panel does have USB Type-C. A lot of our customers ask about that. And then two more USB 3.2 ports, the headphone jack, the power button, the reset button. Last about the fans, they're also 30 millimeters thick instead of the usual 25 millimeters. So we'll see if thicker means better quality, better performance for cooling. And yes, cooling is very important to the C1, but it still might come as a shocker that this case can house 11 <laughs> 120mm fans. I cannot think of another case off the top of my head that can fit 11 fans. Or you can opt for a mix of 140 and 120mm fans. By our reckoning, you can fit in 5 140mm fans and 5 120mm fans for a total of 10. Not too far off from the 11 fans if in a pure 120mm setup. Just some other notable features, there is a lot of room here in the back for cable management. So I do appreciate a lot of room too force those wires into position. The case also helpfully comes with Velcro tie wire strips and there are a generous amount of them, again, to help you with cable management. The look of the cases is very clean but not boring. There's a sleekness to them. Quality of the material is good, about what you would expect for a premium case. And that's a good sign for a brand that's just getting started. One last little note, you'll notice that the skirt goes all the way down. Usually, on most cases, you would have a U shape, so there's like an arc or a bridge, and you would see some gap there where you can see the bottom. Here, the skirt goes all the way around the bottom. There is no gap. Very small detail, but again, this is a case with attention to detail. The designers have really thought about how can we make the best airflow case possible while at the same time, it also still looks good. To test the cooling of the C1, we installed the Ryzen 7 5800X and an RX 7800XT. Both towards a premium end, both can run hot. On the default configuration, the fans that the case comes with, that's three 140mm fans and one 120mm fan, the max CPU temp with the GPU running, so this would be like a standard configuration, was between 85 and 86. Max CPU temp without the GPU running was between 74 and 75. And when we had the GPU in place, the max temp it reached was 75 degrees. So those were with four fans all stock. Then we added six more 120 millimeter fans for a total of 10 fans. One of the selling points of the C1 is that you can add a boatload of fans and we're gonna see now if that helped performance. It did especially for the CPU. When both the CPU and the GPU were running, we had temps reach only around 80 degrees on this 10 fan setup much cooler than the max CPU temp reached with only the four stock fans. 
There was also noticeable improvement in the CPU max temperature without the GPU running, with the max temp reached ranging between 72 and 73 degrees. And also an improvement for the GPU with the max temp reached again with this configuration of 10 fans of only 73 degrees. So across the board, in all of the tests we did, there was noticeable improvement in the temperatures if you avail of all of the possible fan slots in the C1. Excellent airflow from the C1 and it really lives up to its billing of a quality case. The material is good, it's easy to build in. A lot of the modern refinements that we have come to expect from cases have been integrated here with a twist. So if you're worried about your components getting toasty, you might want to consider getting the APNX C1 to make sure that you get a lot of air flowing through your enclosure. Thanks for watching. Paminsan, may nagtatanong kung may kilala ba kaming computer shop na trusted, yung hindi ka lolokohin. Actually, meron. Kami. Full service PC store ang Hardware Sugar. Nagbabenta kami ng PC components. Nagbabenta rin kami ng fully assembled rigs. We clean computers. Kasama na rin yung excellent cable management namin and CPU cooler repasting sa cleaning. We also clean and repaste GPUs. Nasa Makati yung physical store namin and you can also buy from our site www.hwsugar.ph na 100% palaging up-to-date yung inventory dun. Kung in-stock yung item sa amin, available yun sa site. We also ship nationwide. Thanks for watching and maybe one of these days magkita tayo sa shop.